Hi, today's blog is dedicated to Kathy who attended the GPUG payroll class. So her issue was that she doesn't get an error message in payroll if there is a posting account missing. Now in 2013, GP 2013, this issue has been made a lot better, to, um, a lot better. So let's take a look at this now. So I am in GP 2013 um, in the administration setup window and let's go to posting because there are two new reports that are part of the check process in Dynamics GP and these two reports by default are turned off so we'll need to turn them on and I'm going to change the series to payroll and the origin to computer checks. All right, let's just make this single line so we can see it a little better. So here are all of the posting reports that are affiliated with the pay run and there are some new ones. The first one we want to click on is build check file exception report and I'll have it ask where to send that and this is a brand new report and this is the one that's going to make your life a little bit easier and another uh, some other new reports that you might want to take a look at are these pre uh, pre-posting report so you can see the check register or what it will look like before it posts but I'm going to leave that turned off for right now we'll just leave this new one build check file exception report marked and again you have to tell it where you wanted to print and I'm telling it to ask me so I'll save that and click OK so now let's go to the payroll series and let's process a pay run so under transactions I will do a build check file and we're going to just do a regular check one here um, including salary pages for Pilar Ackerman and we'll go ahead and build this and it prompts me to print the build check file report as normal now I'm going to print this to the screen and I'll show you why and now I get this option build check file exception report okay so the first report that comes up happens to be uh, a check uh, the normal one that you're used to seeing the one that's been around a while the check file report now you can see I have an error message on this one that I have posting account is not set up for the pay code now this one's easy to find because there's only one employee but if you're paying 800 a thousand 1200 people finding which check that has an error is quite an issue and so if you print this up you, you might have a lot of process now if you have you know to just find the error now the reason why I suggest sending it to the screen is so uh, one you could look at it if you want but two if you if this takes a while to process and uh, you want to be able to print this report but only if you know that it's clear of errors then at this point you can use another new feature by printing it to the screen we can click on print and we can then you choose an option like Adobe uh, Acrobat uh, a writer or a PDF creator of some sort and then you can actually create a PDF and save it because sometimes if you have paying that many employees it could take 30 minutes to process the pay run then that way if you get to the next window and you see it's clear of errors you could just pull up that PDF file and print it and save yourself a lot of time so if we close this out then we get this brand new report that just shows the exceptions open it up here and it shows me just the ones that have a problem so instead of going through pages and pages and pages to find the little asterisks next to something this report will specifically tell you where the problem is so in Pilar's case I have a, uh, a missing posting account so let's go back to the build check file and remove it and then let's go to administration again under setup we'll go to posting posting account rather we'll go to payroll accounts and you can see I'm just flat out missing everything so I want to go ahead and populate this and I'll click OK and now if I go back to payroll and run my build check again this report prints and it prints fine and my exception report is blank so this is a great way to help you process payroll better hope this helps Kathy